Over the next couple of videos, we are going to take a look at web forms. Web forms are a titanic subject, so we will take our time on these and carefully examine this subject. Now, pretty much everyone at one time or another has used a web form. Web forms allow us to enter information into the website. It might be a checklist, it might be a message board, it could be customer feedback. Now over the next several videos, we are going to cover the HTML side of web forms. And then after that, we are going to cover the CSS aspect to styling these web forms. Now, of course, everything in HTML is about elements and forms are no different. At their basic level, they are just elements. And so that is where we will get started. So the first element we need to create is the form element. And that will contain all of our input fields that we are about to create. So it all starts with the form tag. Now you'll notice these two attributes right here, the action attribute and the method attribute. We are not going to worry about these in this CSS series. This is for another series, especially ASP, PHP, and JavaScript. And that is because this form gets submitted eventually to a web server. And that server will handle all the data that the user inputted into the fields that we created. So again, this is for another lecture. We don't have to worry about these because this is the design phase of our web form. So now that we have the form tag, that by itself doesn't do a lot. We now need to create our HTML input elements. And that is going to be where our user can input whatever information we want from them. So let's first start out with a simple text box. That's what we're going to start out with. And so I'll copy and paste what I created and then I'll explain it. So we're going to embed our first input elements inside a P element tag. And so here is the first one. So I've created a label here, which is just normal text, and we're gonna call that name. And here is where we specify our input element. And then you'll notice it's just called input. This is the key right here. We have to specify what input element this is, and it's going to be text. That stands for text box. Now this name attribute right here, this is another attribute I don't want you to worry about. This has to do again with the server that's going to be processing whatever data is submitted. So we'll talk about this in a future series. So don't worry about that for now. Now a input element is actually a inline element, which means we need to put a break here because if we don't, all these other input elements will be side by side by side. And as we know, that's what inline elements do. So we have to put a break here so that these move in a top-down order. Now we could convert this to a block, but that's not really the standard practice to do with input elements. We're just gonna use the break tag. And so we're gonna use a text box also for the address. Now, as you'll see in a minute when we take a look at this in the browser, the text box is just a single line. And we use that because we only need a single line for the name address, phone, and email. That's all we really need. Now, if we want multiple lines, we create a text area. That's the element tag, and we'll be doing that in a couple of videos. That's for multi-line text, though. But in these four fields, all we need is one line of text. Now, you'll see here this input type of tell, and that stands for telephone, which is for our phone label, and then the same thing for email. We have a type of email. These two used to be just normal text boxes, but with HTML5, they have created several new types. And one of those is for a telephone and one of those is for an email. But if you put text in here, actually they would work just the same. There are some subtle differences with this new type and I'll explain those in a future video. So we've got our four input fields now where we can have our website user enter their name, their address, their phone, and their email. And remember, again, this is just the label, and then this is the element. So the label is actually outside of this, and you'll see how this works when I fire up the browser. And you know what? This is going to be a form we're going to be working on over the next several videos. We're going to design an entire form here. So let's actually put a, a heading in here, and we'll just use an H2, and we'll just use this following text, fill out the information, and hit the Submit button below. Looks pretty good, right? Okay. And there we go. And you know what, before we do that, let's actually add another line break here. So we'll get a little bit more spacing between our input fields. Now we'll control this a little bit more in CSS, the space between these input fields. But for now, we'll just use line breaks. Okay, so let's take a look and see what this looks like now. And there we go. We've got our four input text boxes now. And as you can see, it's just a single row, which is what we wanted. So this is a good start. Now in the next video, we're gonna add a select box 
as well as a checkbox. And we're going to do that right in this area. So we're going to have our customer fill out some more information. And so we'll take care of that in the next video. See you guys then.